the new Honda Hornet the same engine as the Transalp what we have here we're gonna have the short uh, short gears comparable with the longer ones from the Transalp someone complained about the fact that uh, the first and the second gear are having some issues they are quite jerky but we'll have to test this and confirm from the racetrack we have to check it out okay you also have a separate video with the sound of the Hornet on the racetrack there will be a separate video for each single bike with the sound with the exhaust sound let's see the standing position wow it's very comfortable uh, I can touch perfectly uh, the ground surface and even I can bend quite a lot the knee but uh, the foot position it's very uh, uh, backwards as you can uh, observe let's see the display yeah it is very similar if not the same with the Transalp let's check it out and uh, actually use let's use the sport mode as we did uh, for the Transalp okay sport mode just to be able to compare uh, with the same parameters average fuel consumption from what we can observe here is 5.8 on the racetrack let's start the engine not bad huh? now uh, when I hear it one more time it's the second time I'm hearing this sound it's uh, quite nice all right the new Honda Hornet the same engine as the Transalp let's check it out and see how uh, how it's uh, its behavior they share the same uh, chassis but in the same time uh, Transalp is longer it has a uh, uh, subframe which makes it uh, longer on the rear side let's go do we have the quick shifter seems like we do yes we have the quick shifter nice so uh, we will able to to give you a feedback yes I'm get used uh, with the engine from the Transalp let's check out the uh, the ratios how short they are oh ho, nice nice oh fun a fun little bike yeah I like it No surprises uh, when it comes to throttle response over here and the way the bike uh, takes the turns yeah nice I'm in a third gear and I have plenty of power uh, starting from 2500 up oh nice nice the quick shifter it's quite nice especially for the up shifting let's check it out uh, for the down shifting wow nice it works perfectly nice man this uh, gives you time and uh, gives you let's say time to response and to be able to focus on the throttle and the brake yeah the quick shifter man works perfectly I like it quite a lot let's check the downshifting wow nice man especially uh, when you're going from uh, fourth to third and from third to second very nice the quick shifter it's a big plus for this bike check it out 
and man no no jerkiness about the second gear at least the first gear uh, didn't have the chance uh, yet but i will do it yeah wow so man man the quick shifter it's a game changer for this bike i love it as you can see i'm not using the the clutch lever anymore nice man nice wow i like it i like it fun bike and uh, considering uh, the purpose of this bike uh, i would say it's even comfortable but man i love the quick shifter i look forward to install it on my transal because yeah it's it makes everything much easier i'm not saying uh, to abuse uh, from the quick shifter but The downshifting it's just perfect for the quick shifter especially uh, if you are able to if you are able to manage the right rpms when changing i recommend you put uh, the rpms limit on the dashboard just to be able to check it out wow from uh, fifth to six uh, it was uh, it was even uh, smoother you really have to play with it and to play with the throttle and with the rpms when uh, using the quick shifter yeah nice okay so the quick shifter it's not uh, to be used uh, if you're not on this track you don't uh, need to abuse it but uh, at some point uh, you might use it for takeovers uh, or in a certain uh, environment certain situations yeah so the riding position it's uh, it's uh, almost comfortable what i like is that actually you can uh, stick on a bike very well you can stick with the um, with your knees uh, on the petrol tank very in a very nice way in a very nice shape the shape of the petrol tank it's quite nice wow but this bike it's uh, at some point uh, quite brutal don't forget uh, we are on a sport mode the same as the transalp uh, the acceleration and uh, the throttle feedback it's uh, not precise it's absolutely precise if you're using this quick shifter at very high speeds uh, you receive some feedback from the rear wheel which is normal So man, this makes the shape of the petrol tank uh, makes a huge difference, especially when you downshift, when you want to stop the bike. Uh, it position your it posi positions your body uh, uh, for uh, a lot of control. Yeah, just 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 love it, man. And the sound of the exhaust. Uh, is not bad uh, either yeah the third gear is quite brutal so man the second gear no complaints about it this is another hornet Check out the sound when you really twist it. 
Uh, what I have to say that is the the engine brake it's a little bit brutal. We are on the on number two out of uh, four for the uh, engine brake. It is uh, quite quite uh, tough, I would say, when I compare it uh, with the Transalp. The gear ratios, uh, of course, are shorter, especially the yeah, especially the second and the third. I would say, yeah, the first, the first, uh, first, second, and third are uh, much shorter than the ones from the Transalp. And I like, I like the fact that you can control the throttle, man, with ease, with ease. You can control the power and when you control the power you control the bike so basically you are able to control this bike uh, on the turns you can control very nice the throttle it has a great maneuverability The suspension, it's uh, oh, whoo! We changed uh, brutally from the second to the first. Let's check out the first if it's uh, jerky. Not at all, man. Look at, look at the way it accelerates. Uh, actually, you can reach 100 with the second gear. I think with no problem. Let's see uh, what about the low RPMs. We have uh, 5,000. Let's see. Yeah, going up uh, in the fourth gear. Let's check it out uh, on this turn. Fourth gear, 3,000 RPMs, even 2,000, 2,500. Let's see if we can get out of turn. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you can count on it. And uh, no vibrations uh, at low RPMs. Absolutely no vibrations. Ninety-two horsepower, not even uh, one hundred ninety kilos, makes uh, this bike uh, quite a fast one. I don't have the skills to ride it at its capacity. But I'm sure someone with uh, better skills can uh, can take uh, can obtain a very good uh, lap time. But again. Uh, yeah, the quick shifter, it's a must have for this bike. Not only for this bike, if the quick shifter, it's uh, as good as uh, I can see here. Then uh, I did a good choice uh, mounting it uh, on the Transalp. And again, another thing which I like, I have to mention it once again is the riding position uh, and the fact that uh, the petrol tank offers quite quite a good uh, feedback and control uh, together with the bike puts you puts you in control uh, over the bike definitely you can lean quite a lot with this bike You have to always remember to keep your legs uh, tightened to the petrol tank to have uh, to have the the arms uh, in a much comfortable uh, position to have them uh, in control over the throttle over the brake because otherwise uh, all your force comes uh, in front and then uh, pushes you to make some mistake and uh, lean uh, leave your hand over the throttle too much
Oh, the sound when you accelerate, it's a really, really good one. I like it. The bike uh, gets so fast uh, at very high speeds, you don't realize it. On the racetrack, uh, the speed uh, somehow compresses and you feel... Uh, you're not feeling that you have uh, 150, 120, you seem like uh, this is the very low speed. Actually, we can do all this track with a third gear if you want. So, uh, no need to change it. And yes, you need some skills to ride the fast on this racing track, no doubt about that. Skills which I uh, really need to work on it. Skills which uh, really take time to learn. And uh, of course, uh, these skills, uh, you know, are helping you quite a lot especially when you need to control the bike in a certain riding environment and a certain riding conditions this was it man oh ho, nice 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 ride The first gear, yeah, no issues whatsoever with the first or second gear. <sighs> oh. Yeah, this uh, this ride uh, really takes some of your energy, so it was quite a nice one, quite a nice one. Oh. I was very very happy with the quick shifter I have to say down shifting up shifting uh... down shifting up shifting uh... really really perfect almost you need to also find that sweet spot to change uh, with a quick shifter uh, the gears maybe uh, to find that sweet spot uh, with the revs this will be a process uh, where you can learn it you mentioned something about uh, the hornet that uh, the first gears one and two are a little bit uh, you know with problems with issues i didn't find anything what we have here it's uh, johnny's uh, drone 